morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. There's nothing much on the table, but I will show you quite a bit of stuff. Now, I've been jumping um, my positive general ideas and I end up with a lot of scraps. How many of you have a scrap bucket? That's what I use that for. A scrap bucket. So everything gets thrown from my desk into the scrap button bucket. I might use lots of bits and pieces, but the majority of it does get used. Rubbish is rubbish, by the way. But anyway, I wanted to come on here today and show a bit of my journal on um, positivity. Um, during the lockdown, on, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've been trying to create a journal. <coughs> positive of our ideas and um, it's been a lot of fun um, I'm going to try and make sure it's in full view it's very hard but anyway we'll give it a go so anyway I'll leave it that way a bit and I haven't done much with that pocket it will get decorated, I assure you. Here, I've created, um, I won't bother saying the sayings, but there's a tuck there, there's a tuck in there that goes through um, some dates. And I used a lot of Edith Holden pages here to collage these tags. And like I said, a tuck there. Over the other page, we basically used the whole page. And again, I um, did a lot of tucks. There's tucks inside the Edith Holden page, tucks behind this lovely girl, and a library card. So that tuck reaches there. So you can tuck in there. And it's turned out to be quite a beautiful page. Why I created this, because being in lockdown it hasn't been fun. And... I thought, you know, the best way to deal with it is to make a positivity journal. Um, and, you know, create little um, pads so you can write in it. This journal measures um, about 12 by 9, I'd say. But how I create it, there's a tuck in there, the tuck in there. And when you lift the flap up, I'll have to take that out, you've got to tuck in there. Use various designers. Um, so there's the Tracy Fox, there's um, uh, Ali Mays, uh, oh, my favourite designers. <laughs> oh, golly gosh. Um, I have to tell you, um, good makes it hard to remember them all. So, um, uh, in the wrong part. <laughs> I like so many designers. It's really, really hard at times to, um, you know, um, make up my mind what to buy. But I, look, my porch prints. One of my favourites. Another one that I've bought that I'm really in love with at the moment is uh, Iwila Maja Shop. <laughs> it's spelt I-R-A-L-A-M-I-J-A-S-H-O-P. But they're my main favourites. Lynn from Paper Lifers. Uh, Tracy. Um... Oh gosh, I've got to get her name too. So, Lynn from Paper Lifers. Because um, I've used both ladies. I nearly forgot them. And they're my favourite scream, screaming sardines. She's got a lot of vintage stuff, screaming sardines. So, here I've gone in and basically done a belly band through um, that goes in there. I used an envelope. 
and I'll cut through the middle of the envelope so I can actually use the bottom part for a pocket and journaling cards. Um, again, the Edith Holden page, and I was really, really careful when I used the Edith Holden page that I didn't cover up my bird. Um, but there's lots of layers there. Then we come over to this page, and I quite like this because we were able to walk, so I was grateful for that. Um, oh, Mrs. Cox, we used her printouts here too. Um, with this one again, you know, just creating around the page um, and adding layers and making tucks. You know, here I, I haven't really done much with these journaling tags, which I should, but I use the Edith Holden page to actually create tucks. Um, because you're able to do lots of things when you're doing a bigger journal. Here I've done a flip out envelope. It's got journaling cards. It's got a booklet. It's got little journaling cards here too with an envelope. Fun to create. Using some textiles from Sheila from Boho Daydreams. Again, tags. This I haven't decorated yet, but it will be done. So I have to remove that from there because I keep forgetting to. Um, but that's just a flip out baking that I halved and whatnot. But I've left that so I could see it. There's a little picture there that I left so I could see it. Nice lace work and it's a nice creation. Then there's this positivity page. It's one of my favourites, this one. Um, big pocket there. A little booklet. Um, that's in this big baggy envelope that I made. I'll just make my own. Um, little journaling card that I really like. And don't ask me where I got it from because I don't remember. And here's, um, I just used a receipt and made that into a tuck. And that should be that way. And then it just tucks in that. And then I just, because for the first month, there was no arts and crafts for me. I don't know about you guys, but I struggled. So arts and crafts was my thing. And then I put for my saying, there is no place more one more delightful than home. Um, that's a Mrs. Cox one. Then here, in this part of the journal, I did a flip out. A baggy one. And I um, don't know if I put journal cards in there. There should be. Oh, yeah. There is. Just journaling cards so you can write behind. A um, bit faded in that, which is what the look of the page is. Lots of layers in my flip out because that's how I like to work. Um, here I've created a tuck within a tuck. So there's a tuck in there and then a tuck behind that um, and then a tuck there as well. So, there's my layers. I do need to put some lace there because I can see it just needs it. And maybe a little bit of gesso or something. But what I like about this page, I created a fold out, a, a fold over, and made two journaling cards out of it of Holden. So, and you can write behind them. We're blessed and we created memories during the lockdown. Uh, and that's what's important. It, like, it's figuring out what's important, what isn't um, during the lockdown and how we handle things, you know. And it has been tough on a lot of us. And that's why I cr created this. We've been in lockdown um, for quite some time, um, which was really stressful. But I like how I collaged that. She's cute. Then we go over the page. Now, someone asked me, how do you keep this from tearing? Well, that's quite easy. You just either put gel medium on that or Mod Podge. I just haven't got around to it. First, I would put gesso over it, ink it, gesso it. Then I would put gel medium. 
and here it needs a bit of gessoing. I just haven't got around to it. There's so much to do when you're doing a big journal like this. But I just thought I'd give you a look of what I've been creating. Here we've got a little um, flippy yada. And all it is is just a jumble of scraps. And then I've put a word, I've stamped over it and I've put a word there. Here we've got a little chunk. Then here we've got journey cards. We've got several layouts, different layouts of paper. These could do with a bit of dressing up, but I haven't done that yet. But there's so much room in these pockets that it has been fun. I'm creating this way. Um, like I said, this is just a show and tell of the pockets, um, different layouts, collaging. You know, it's just been a fun project. And I like fun. Um, I'm glad I was able to formulate a plan of attack so I am not so stressed out with all the news that we've been getting you know it's just scary I don't like that there but I need to fix these ladies and I will fix them up the last page I did was the other day I think this is the last page this is getting quite full now but here I created a large tag and I've decorated it and done lots of I need to might punch that before I wreck it but anyway it should be right there's a big envelope now have a laugh at this this was created from an elf I did have it around I oh, look honestly you know how you have everything ready to go and then when you go to look for it you, you lose it. There you go, ladies. Sanitary napkin disposal babies. These are fantastic if you're doing a large journal like I like doing. And making a tag this big is actually quite easy. I, all I did is double up my paper over cardstock and it's created. I need to gesso though. And that I haven't done. But it fits in there quite neatly. Actually, quite neatly without too much drama. And there's, look, there's layouts. I didn't use the Edith Holden here. I just used collage. I just collaged some invoices. Now, here. Uh, these fit neatly behind there. Because you've got hidey spots. Because when I glue in my napkin, I just glue in there and then things tuck in neatly and they actually do tuck in neatly. It's getting quite chunky this journal. Now I did a Rhonda Tessa flip out and this then gives you lots of journaling space and I collaged it and did a saying live today lest tomorrow never comes. Um, here I create another journaling card, harmonious, and then just some tags that I can write behind. And that's the beauty of these journals. If you put enough ephemera in them, you can actually write behind your journaling cards, or you can choose not to, you know. Um, to me, collaging a page tells its own story for me. Not everybody will think like I do, but... That's how I do. Now, here I did a fair bit of, um, I used um, snippets that I created. And actually, I'll give you an idea to what I'm at it. So that so far is my journal for positive thoughts and positivity. And it's covered beautifully. Um, this was a table runner. It came in handy. I bought this with the thrift store finds. That I found in the last few weeks, which I will show you shortly. So we'll put that aside. What was I going to show you? Um, oh, yeah, a snippet I created. A lot of you ladies love doing snippets. Now, this snippet is beautiful. To me, it is because it's colourful, it's bohemian, 
and I just used all my scraps. But the beauty of it is I used masking tape. So what I did is I opened up my masking tape, sealed a little bit at the edge, then I run out as much as I want and I just stuck my bits of fabric all the way along that masking tape, which then gives you that. So all I had to do is basically run my sewing machine down three sections, then another three sections to add the top layers to finish it off. Now, I could add buttons and all that, but I'm choosing not to because I'd rather do that when it comes time to lay this in my journals. I don't know when I'll use it because it's very colourful and I'm actually into vintage at the moment. The vintage is the look I really like. Um, plus the creams, the beiges, the teas and whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to show you my um, stuff that I bought from the thrift store. It's been fun shopping and enjoyable. So when I went thrifting a few weeks ago, I've been meaning to do a video and look, I haven't got around to it. And that's the thing. You always think, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it next time. Blah, blah, blah. But look at this. How oh, cute. 50 cents. How gorgeous. These were a dollar, I think. Or was it? Yeah, a dollar. 50 cents. A dollar. A dollar. This must have been free because I can't find the price. But I'd say it was a dollar. Look at the blue. Dollar. Dollar. Now, I have to get all these out. That is just wonderful. Honestly, I had a ball shop in there. Absolute ball. Okie dokie. Now, I've already been nipping into these. Oh, this is not them. But you look. Look. Just nip in and just... So you can create, you know what I mean? Like, create layering. All through store bought. This is not. I must have ended up in there where it shouldn't have been. But anyway, it doesn't matter. But thrift store bought. Look at that. And I love jumping into this. This is, um, what? Curtain material. I made beautiful tags with this. So I've already been hoeing into it. But, I mean, these barely cost me anything. Cute or what? And these are all something I'm going to use. Vintage or what? Very vintage. I love it. Love, 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 love. These are all going to be coming in handy um, for the, my journals. Look at this one. It's just, honestly, fun, fun, fun. This is wrapped over. So you can just, maybe I should open it up. But fun. And I'm going to do lots of layers with that. But same with these. Someone went to a lot of work. But this makes good layering. For good layering. Um, that. I'm going to try and go back there this week and see what else they've got. Um, it's the only thrift store that's open. This is ideal for layering as well. Um, and this. It's quite big. So I won't open it. And look at this. Just gorgeous. Again, just gorgeous. Again, ideal for layouts. And it's so long. I've got so much lace. I've decided this lot of lace will not be dyed. This will be used in its natural form. Because normally I dye my laces. And this time I decided not to. I've been nipping into that as well. That one doesn't belong in there. That doesn't. 
I'm going to slip through a few things in there. But look at these. I've already hoed into that one. How gorgeous. How gorgeous. You know, and it's so much fun. Um, I love thrifting. That's where I find my best finds. Look at that. That's going to be ideal for the layers I want. And more of this. This I really need because I'm going to use that with the tags I'm producing at the moment. How cool. Look at this. It's quite big too. It's probably a yard and a half. How lovely. How special. This is all good laces and fun. Fun. These are, this is a gift from a friend. I thought I'd showcase that. She gave me more. I don't know where they are. Thanks, Laurie, for that too. I keep forgetting to thank her. Oh, how cool are they? I've already ripped into that and used it making pockets and whatnot but look it's just gorgeous this is just going to create such a gorgeous few journals in my opinion i dyed this one and i actually need this because i'm creating another journal i don't know if you've seen my um a couple of videos ago I created a four by six journal with four signatures and it came out gorgeous using some of these laces. But like I said, this lot will not be dyed because I prefer to use it in its natural form. How vintage. How vintage. You know, I, I cannot walk away from stuff like this. There's no way. This has cost me probably less than twenty dollars. Beautiful, isn't it? And again, this can be cut up. I, I just love it. Oh, look at that. Look at these. Look at these. It's just gorgeous laces. Like I said, less than probably $20 for this lot. I want that piece of lace too, so that can go there. Look at that. And that. Now, I'll drag out the next lot I bought, which was the other day. I need that there. Oh. And this is at St. Vinny's. Because it's all, we've only got one store open. So because it's only one store, we have to sort of take pot luck, I guess. Now, I found a book, um, Alice in Wonderland. I've been wanting to make one for quite some time. It's got some good pictures. So I'm thinking I might do one. I don't know, but I might do one. It's got some cool pics, and I reckon I might be able to use some of those. I actually did Alice in Wonderland, but it was quite different. I did The Wizard of Oz, I should say. But anyway, I found that book. Then I found this one. And this I really like because look at the outfits. Look. How cool. So I'll be able to create something really cool out of this book. And this is the thing, you know, when you're looking at books, you need to see them with your other eyes, you know, or different type of eyes once you turn into a junk journaler. I mean, they're gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. So that was that truth. Now we go to the, look at this. This, I'm going to enjoy cutting up and making covers out of it. Because I've really gotten into the vintage mode. There's about, I think, three yards of this. But it's just gorgeous. And seriously, this is going to make some beautiful vintage 
covers. And you say, how can she cut it up? Well, actually, it's quite easy for me. Quite easy to cut up. How cool. And it really is quite easy to cut up. Look. Actually, that was not the inside out, was it? Now, look at that. How can I not cut up that and make a beautiful cover? So, I don't normally score that well when I go thrifting. So it's good that I actually find the things I've been finding um, because they're not expensive. Um, again, I probably spent $10 on this lot. Look at this one. How nice is that? And I will cut that out and it'll make for beautiful junkum. And this one, I mean, how soft and gorgeous is that? Even that one. And that one. It's gonna make for gorgeous junkin. And look at this one. Oh, it's giving me the shivers. I'm just in love with it. Um, and then this packet was probably the dearest one, but she gave it to me for two dollars. And this I know I will use because I'm not into decorating my table, but again, um, where's some scissors? Again, you know, seriously, I can utilize this and it'll go a long way. Broadcloth's very expensive here, and I'd say this is broadcloth or some sort of linen. Um, just got to try and get these off without... Look at this. I can nip at that lace and use the linen. There's four of those. And then look, this is about one and a half yards, I think. It's all stuck down. I don't want to wreck it. And the thing is, the beauty of this is it's going to get used, you know what I mean? Like, no waste. I don't waste anything. I will cut this into pieces. I will do all sorts of things. So somebody's obviously bought this and just put it away. And then one day they'll use it. And it hasn't happened. But Jeannie will use it. Um, and she'll use it for her junking. Um... Like I said, it's so much fun. With this thrift store you go to, they wash all their stuff too. So, um, I like that. It's called St. Vinnie's. All these have been bought from St. Vinnie's because that's the only thrift store they've allowed open. So, look at that lace. And then look. That's going to make a beautiful journaling cover and for other things for pockets uh, layouts you name it you know this is about utilizing stuff that people have thrown out now um i thought i'd come on and show you all this because i keep forgetting to and you know um going thrifting is the best thing so whenever you get a chance go thrifting have fun with it you know, look for odd things, you know, um, fabrics. I get so many vintage fabrics, and I actually did buy some vintage fabric. Um, but I forgot about that. That was in with this lot. But doesn't matter. We'll see that next time. But look, thanks, everybody, for watching um, and tuning into my channel and checking out some of the things I've been up to. And my journal of positivity. Like I said, this was a photo album, which I coffee tea stained. Oops, my little flip out. Which I then, every page was painted on, coffee stained the lot. And now it's just up to decorating it. I might have to take a couple of pages out 
for the simple fact this will be one chunky monkey if I don't. But anyway, thank you everybody. Take care. Oh, that was part of the um, thrifting too. I've been nipping into it. But I coffee stained that. But I don't wish to do that with the other lot because I've got so much coffee stained stuff. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.